top story at nine. Four suspects accused of the murder of the former ANC Youth League Secretary General Cindy Somagaka will uh, today appear in the Umzumkulu Magistrates Court in KwaZulu-Natal for bail application. The accused include Mluleki Ndobe, a, a member of the KwaZulu-Natal's Provincial Executive Council. He's also the mayor of the Harigwala District Municipality. Umzumkulu uh, Municipal Manager Zweli Panzi Skosana is also a suspect. The four have been behind bars for the past two weeks. Another ANC member, mayor rather, was arrested during the weekend for a different case. He will appear in the Newcastle Magistrates Court in northern KwaZulu-Natal today. Okay, let's get more on this and other stories. Uh, other issues, we're joined by SABC, Ayanda, SABC's Ayanda Mflongo, who is live for us in case. And hey, Ayanda, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Okay, what... What can we expect both, I guess, inside and outside uh, court today? Because this case has drawn a lot of public interest. Very good morning to you, Blaine. Good morning to our viewers. Certainly, Blaine, uh, the entire community of Mzimkulu are outside here at the magistrate's uh, court. As you said, yeah, draw, has drawn incredible, a lot of uh, attention from the community here. Um, not even here in Mzimkulu as well, Blaine, but I suppose across the province of Kwasnatal, looking at the numbers of people and the people that we see come from other areas who have come here wanting uh, to follow uh, the the proceedings that will be taking place here uh, today. Of course, today, Blaine, is the bail hearing for the four accused, the Herukwala Mayor, Mlulegi Ndobe, and the three other accused, which include the uh, municipal manager of the Mzumkulu municipality, as well as a former uh, senior official here in the municipality who is now a business person and also a former member of the SAPS's tactical response team. You probably see behind us uh, plane, uh, a lot of community members from about uh, seven o'clock this morning people started to uh, gather here outside uh, the uh, court of course uh, there are those that are here in support of uh, Cindy so Markaika's family but uh, there are also those who are here in support of the uh, suspects uh, you're speaking the plane in your introduction that today is also an important day for the ANC leadership here in Kwasnata the uh, provincial executive committee is sitting today uh, to discuss the way forward regarding how they're going to handle uh, this matter of their senior leaders and mayors who have been arrested and accused of quite serious offences. The party's national leadership, as you've heard yesterday, the party secretary general, Mr. Ace Makhashule, saying that they'll be leaving it up to the province to make a decision on what they'll be doing with these leaders. As you know, and particularly in relation to Mluleg Ndobe, the mayor, he is number three on the province's list to be deployed to the provincial legislature. The uh, other suspect who will be appearing today, of course, also holds a senior position in a uh, region in, uh, here in KwaZulu-Natal. So today, a way forward for the ANC. Will they ask these two uh, suspects to uh, request that they, they remove their names, or particularly Ndobe, uh, uh, that he removes himself from uh, their list? Uh, that decision will uh, possibly be uh, taken today by uh, the ANC leadership. But I must say plain that uh, some of the community members are saying it's not just these two. We know that there are uh, two other cases, one in Peter Maritzburg of the killing of um, Sawen uh, 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 Makata in that uh, area, as well as the killing of Sbusiso Mapumulo in Umlazi, where two councillors are currently uh, behind bars having been denied bail. And members of the ANC are saying that uh, if you're in any position of leadership, whether or not you're a councillor, you're a representative of the ANC in the community, uh, action needs to be taken. All these uh, individuals need to be uh, suspended. So today, uh, plain, the leadership of the ANC as well will be sending somebody here to court. We will, of course, uh, be later on speaking to them about uh, this meeting that's supposed to uh, take place. And then later on, uh, during the day we should possibly get an indication from the ANC on what uh, their way forward is going to be. Yeah, so a very important meeting uh, that's going to be held today. The ANC Youth League uh, in the province, Ayanda, has been uh, pretty vocal in a statement calling on the PEC of the ANC to recall all members of the ANC who are deployed in various government positions but are who are facing murder cases. What else are they saying? 
Yes, uh, the ANC Youth League, uh, in fact, playing uh, since uh, the arrest of the suspects in the case of uh, Busiso Mapumolo, a councillor in Umlazi, the ANC Youth League has come out saying enough is enough and action uh, needs to be taken and that the leaders of the ANC really now need to put their party members, uh, 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 consider their party members and consider the public. They're very much concerned about what this is doing to the image of the party and how it's tainting the image of the party to have senior leaders, uh, well, leaders uh, who are representing the parties in communities who have been found uh, to, to, or not found, but who are being implicated rather in quite uh, serious cases. And they're saying plain, these are not just uh, uh, cases, these are cases involving their own members as well. So on top of that, they need to also consider the families uh, who are also their members, uh, that they need to put the needs and, 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 and concerns of the families ahead. So today, as I said, very important uh, for, for the ANC plane to decide, are they going to uh, discuss only the matter of Mlule Gindobe and uh, this uh, uh, other suspect that was arrested on Friday, who also holds a senior position, but there are other uh, members who are deployed to their municipalities. How far are they going to go in terms of recalling all their members that have been uh, uh, implicated? Is it just going to be implicated for murder, or will they also look at fraud and corruption as well? But today, these are the questions that uh, we will be waiting to hear from the ANC on what uh, the way forward is going to be from them. So what we know at this stage, Ayanda, is the arrests of uh, two mayors linked to alleged political killings in the province in about less than a week, I think. So there was a bit of confusion uh, with regards to the arrest of a third mayor. Uh, do you have any clarity on that? We can confirm to you, Blaine, which we have also uh, from the authorities in the uh, spokes on the office of uh, the Minister of Police, uh, having confirmed the second uh, arrest, which uh, we uh, uh, we broke on Friday afternoon. Yes, uh, yesterday there was uh, uh, rumours that a, a third may had been arrested, and that was after um, the former Treasurer General and ANC NEC member, Dr. William Kize, when he was addressing a briefing yesterday an ANC briefing. He uh, made mention that a third a mayor had been arrested, but later on issuing a statement uh, correcting that to say that it was only two uh, mayors that have uh, been arrested. So at the moment, our confirmation plan is we only have two mayors, uh, the one that will be appearing uh, here today, and of course uh, the other that will, will be appearing, uh, and my colleagues in Pio Makane will be sharing more information uh, regarding uh, that arrest. We do know, Blaine, that in particular what we heard from the state uh, uh, last week on Tuesday when uh, the four suspects who appeared here, the state did say that it was looking at making a further arrest, but they did not divulge who, whether or not it was uh, other members or senior members of the ANC, but they had said yeah. that in this particular case here in Mzumkulu for the killing of Cindy Somakaga, there are going to be other arrests. Yeah, we're going to go to St. Peter Makanya shortly. He is in the Imadandeni uh, Magistrates Court in KZN. But uh, appreciate that update, Diana. Thank you very much indeed for your reporting. I am Plongo live for us in Kwazun. Tells you mentioned this uh, statement issued by uh, Dr. Zuelim Mkize. We've got a clip of uh, Dr. Mkize. Let's play it now.